Welcome to day 71 of our school year. Let's go ahead and fill in this date. Starting a new line. Let's get down our beginning fraction. We're on day 71 out of a total of 180 school days. So let's check 71. Is it prime or composite? Uh, it's not even, so that doesn't help me. Um, let's see, 7 plus 1 is 8, not a multiple of 3. I'm going to go ahead and look and see. Yes, 71 is circled, therefore it is prime. There's no other factors except 1 and the number itself. So the prime factorization for the numerator is done. Now, so we just have to do the prime factorization for our denominator. Okay, let's see. It is even, so I can divide by 2. Half of 18 tens is 90 tens. Okay, 9 plus 0 is 9. That's a multiple of 3, so I can divide by 3. I can get 30 groups of 3 out of 90. I can divide by 3 again. I get 10. That's even. I can divide by 2. I get 5. So let's get down our prime factorization for our denominator. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And our numerator. It's the only prime number I can divide by. So is there anything in common in our numerator and denominator? No 2s, 3s, or 5s, no 71. So that means our greatest common factor is 1. Let's make our groups of 1. Done. How many total groups of 1 do we have? 180. How many are shaded in? 71. We still want to prove it with our algorithm. Remember, algorithm is just a step-by-step -step way of solving a problem. So we're going to put 71 in our area model. I'm sorry, we do 180 up here and 71 down here. And we're dividing by 1. 1 times 100 is 100. Number is the same, zero is the game, more on top, no need to stop. Number is the same, zero is the game. I can take more out, so I'm going to bring that 80 up. 80 times 1 is 80. Number is the same, zero is the game. Add our partial quotients. Now you may have known 180 times 1 is 180, but if you're unsure, there's more than one right way to get to the answer. Here's 70 times 1 is 70. More on top, no need to stop. Number is the same, 0 is the game. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Number is the same, 0 is the game. Add our partial quotients, we get 71. We still want to check divisor times quotient plus remainder, divisor times quotient plus remainder. Now since our remainder is 0 for both and the identity property of addition says when you add 0 it stays the same, we don't need to add 0. But what we end up with here is multiplying by 1. That is our identity property of multiplication. That when you multiply by 1, it stays the same. One group of 0, one group of 8 tenths, one group of 100. One group of 1, one group of 7 tenths stays the same. So 71, that matches, that check. 180, that matches our dividend up here, check. So our numerator is definitely 71, and our denominator is definitely 180. All right, let's go ahead and fill in our data collection page. Trimester 2, week 3, today is 11. 19, 19, and our fraction for today is 71, 180. 71 is a prime number. It is not a factor of 180. So 
our greatest common factor is 1. It means we made groups of 1, and you do not have to get out your number line. But I do want to show you here is 71, 180 and no lines lined up below it because it is our simplest form or equivalent fraction in lowest terms. All right, go ahead and erase your worksheet, and thank you for joining me.